All right, lesson number seven, bringing it all together, and we're going to do this in a graphic form so you can build a picture, a visual of your leadership journey. All right, think about how, how could you do this. Um, there's a number of tools you could use. If you are in a customer experience business, there's customer experience templates. Just Google customer experience template, see what you can come up, come up with, and change the categories. It's, it's a graphic like this, kind of a matrix, and you could just change the graphic with the correct titles that fit, fit your leadership journey. My leadership journey across the top, each of the places where you were, each of the job stops you had, that's one way. Another way, I like to use collaborative boards, the collaborative workspaces that are infinite whiteboards. One of them is Miro, M-I-R-O, that's one. Another one is Mural, M-U-R-A-L. That you can just Google, find them, free program. You could put all this on there so you can build this graphic. If you're thinking about, and then think about, as I'm doing this, think about how you might want to do this with your team, how you could do this with your team as an exercise. I've done this as a workshop with folks as well. All right, so as you're taking a look, where do we start? Lesson number one was all about you. We talked about you as a leader, how you got to the position you got to, how you led when you were there, and then how effective you were, you having the criteria. And you, you can draw a picture here, Put some bullets, put a picture on bullets, whatever makes sense for you. Lesson two, we went a little more deeply. What about you? Definition of leadership. What was your definition of leadership at that time? And then what type of leader were you? Transactional, transformational. Where, you, where did your power and authority come from and who were some of your key relationships? That's what we talked about. So kind of build that out for each one. Don't have to have a lot of detail if you don't want it. This does not, this could be an autobiography with all kinds of detail, or it could be just a big picture. It could be a big picture with little pictures on here to be able to tell your story. Number three, then we move to the leaders, those who were leading you and the impact they had. What type of leader were they? And you could take any of this and put it up here. What type of leader were they? What was their impact? Oh, I took 90% of what they, that was the best leader I ever worked for, and I tried to emulate them. Or... I took 5% and most of, what I, most of that is what not to do, okay? So there might be what impact did the leaders who led you have on you at each stop? Next, the organization, and my recommendation there was two levels. Maybe you worked for a big organization, Procter & Gamble, GE, maybe a small company, maybe a small mom and pop owned business that had 15 employees. Evaluated at two levels, at the highest level, what was the organization about, what, how do they deliver, what was the organization about and how they approached their business, and what about where, what you actually did with the teams that you interacted with on a close basis. So that, that's my recommendation, two levels, high level and then specific level with the interactions you had all the time. All right, next, followers. Who was following you? Who were you leading? Pick one person. And this could be a peer too. Pick one person that had an impact on you and kind of sketch that out. What impact did that individual have? When I shared this in, that, in lesson number five, I talked about a senior staff non-commissioned officer and the impact that individual had on me and helped me grow as a new junior officer. Who had the impact? It might be someone who really challenged you, someone who maybe you delegated something to and they didn't do a good job with it, someone who really defied some things you were trying to do. Our followers had an impact on us. Lastly, the time frame. We are who we are because of where we were and when we were there. So how did the when affect you? What was in vogue for leadership? You know, when I started back in the 80s, leadership, people were pointing their finger telling you what to do and off you went and did it. Things have changed quite a bit, a lot, a lot more input. So we've gone from, over time, great man theory, trait theory, behavior theory of how people lead, situational leadership, to transactional, transformational, and now think about very transparent, very inclusive, agile programming, flexible, changing leadership. How, how has, how did the time frame and what was in vogue, the way folks led at the time, impact your leadership? So that's it. So you could take that and look at each one of these. You can make it as detailed as you want. You can make it just graphics if that's what you want but it's a way to build a picture to look at your leadership journey. I found this really useful with teams because I asked you to think about who you could use it with. 
mid-level managers, teams, and I've done workshops with teams to think about how they, how they lead. When we get to the end, okay, this is where you are now. How do you want this to be? What do you want the impact to be? What's, or what's the impact it's having on you now that needs to change? And what can you do about it to make your organization the best organization? Thanks for participating in this. I hope you found it useful. I'd welcome an opportunity to work with you and your team to build, to build out your leadership journey. Thanks for listening. See you in the next, next lesson that I put up here.